How do you make seven an even number? By taking the S out. Evolution in mobile phones in recent years has significantly changed how we perceive things. We are definitely going to see even more advancements in the coming years. But one thing that has remained constant for a very long time is that we still have to dial a fixed number of digits for making a phone call. And this leads us to a curious question. Why do telephone numbers have fixed number of digits? How is it decided? And how do we get different possibilities? Let's understand that in this Q episode of Q Box. The number of digits is generally dependent on two things. First one being the population count of a country and the second one the number of mobile devices that the population holds. To make it simple, let's consider India as our example. India has fixed its mobile number to 10 digits excluding the country code such that each and every mobile number is unique. That means no two individuals will have the same mobile number. Otherwise, imagine the chaos it would lead to. Right then. Now why 10 digits only? Why not 7 or 8 or 11 digits for that matter? Hey, this is Ganesh here from Don't Memorize. Before we get to the solution of this riddle, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us. Okay, back to where we left off. The answer lies in simple math. That is counting of digits. And what do I mean by this? It's time to unravel. Here we have digits from 0 to 9 with us. It is very obvious that using these digits, we have to form different mobile numbers. Also, we need to note that each and every mobile number should be unique. So tell me, in how many ways can we arrange these 10 digits to get our desired results? Remember, we are only interested in the total count of the mobile numbers and not the actual arrangement of the digits. So can we do it manually? No, don't even think of doing that. You may end up losing a lot of your time and energy. Then how do we approach this? Let's begin with the basics. Consider we only had 4 digits for our mobile number. which means that we can select any four digits out of the 10 digits available now tell me in how many different ways can we form four digit mobile numbers it's time to solve this interesting puzzle let's make four slots like this these four slots together will form a single mobile number let's begin with the first slot in how many ways can we fill the first slot Well, we have 10 digits at our disposal. Thus, we can select any of those to fill our first slot. That's right. We can say that the first slot can be filled in 10 different ways. Having filled the first slot, in how many ways can we fill the second slot with? Well, here many of us would think that if the first slot was filled with one of these 10 digits, then we're left with only 9 digits for the second slot. Is that correct? Nope, that's not true. Remember, our goal is to form mobile numbers where the digits can be repeated. That means the second slot can have the same digit as that in the first slot. For example, if we have a digit 1 in our first slot, then the same digit 1 can be in our second slot as well. If we have digit 0 here, then we can have it here as well. So now can you tell me in how many ways can we fill the second slot? Yes, in 10 different ways. If you've understood the logic, can you answer this? In how many ways can we fill the third slot? Perfect, in 10 different ways. And the same logic holds good for the fourth slot as well. So, we filled each slot in 10 different ways. First slot in 10 ways. and the second in 10 ways and the third in 10 ways and the fourth too in 10 ways notice i've used and here that's where the rule of counting comes into picture and means multiplication to know more about counting and similar concepts 
head to our course on permutations and combinations. Now getting back, 10 multiplied by 10 is 100, 100 multiplied by 10 is 1000 and when 1000 is multiplied by 10, we get 10,000. 10,000 different mobile numbers. This is nowhere close to India's current population. Its population is close to 1.4 billion and is constantly increasing as well. So, having a four-digit mobile number is out of the question. What if we consider our mobile number comprising of five digits? After calculation, we get 100,000 different possibilities. So, mobile number with five digits is definitely not an option. And the results we get for mobile numbers with 6, 7, 8 or even 9 digits are also something that do not satisfy the demands of India's current population. So what should we do next? Let's check for mobile numbers comprising of 10 digits. After doing the math, the result obtained is this huge number. This is nothing else but 10 billion different possibilities of mobile numbers. Here we go. And that is why 10-digit mobile numbers are considered as a standard for now in India. Now you may say that many users use multiple SIM cards. What do we do then? No worries at all. Even if everyone uses two SIM cards, the mobile numbers used will be around 3 billion. If you look at the number of mobile numbers at our disposal, we would still have around 7 billion more in our bag for use. Hence, we do not have to worry at all. Now let me tell you an interesting fact. Japan has opted 11 digits as their standard mobile number even though their population is much lower than that of India. So who makes this decision? It's the Department of Telecommunication of a particular nation that has the decision-making power. And Indian Telecom Department has opted for 10-digit mobile numbers as a standard. Now, what would happen if all the 10 billion possibilities are exhausted? Is it even possible in the coming years? With the growth of population, we cannot predict that as of now. Only time will tell. But what do you think? This is your cue box to explore. One of the options we could think of is that maybe in the future, we can completely switch onto something like virtual IDs to make phone calls instead of using cellular networks. Let us know your opinions too. To be a part of a massive learning community, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do share this video with your friends and family. Happy learning!